when growing up, at least for myself, I always thought that those years were for sure going to be the, the time that I'm traveling and experiencing things on my own and focusing my energy and everything. And the ways that I help is I just basically fill in the blanks of time that, that she needs someone there with her. So right now I'm working on a uh, feature documentary uh, called Much Too Young. It is a documentary that uh, revolves around early onset Alzheimer's disease. Uh, and these are parents in their uh, early 50s or even as young, early 50s or even younger than 50. However, um, the main message or the, the, main, uh, uh, the main part of the project doesn't focus on them, but it focuses on their, their children or uh, uh, a term that's called young caregivers. So these children um, range in age from uh, 25 and I have as young as a 10 year old. And they all have parents with uh, mainly early onset Alzheimer's, and early onset just means they were diagnosed under 65. And then there's a, a couple other uh, rare forms of dementia as well. So the film will focus on these kids and how it affects them in their daily life, how it uh, affects their schooling, their work, their social life, and um, just the fact that they've lost a parent at such a young age. Bye just like with the progression of everything with my mom, like we've kind of all become more independent faster. The reason uh, I'm making this film is because my father had early onset when he was 57 and I was in my early 30s when I helped look after him. And I made a feature documentary about that called Forgetful Not Forgotten, which explored, uh, followed him, uh, our family over the last six years of his life uh, until he passed away. And uh, it talked about you know all the different aspects of the disease and stages and caregiving from a family point of view. Um, but what I didn't get to explore is really how it affected me, how it really changed my life. I love being here and I love my mom, but I don't get to perhaps do the personal projects that I would like to work on, or you know you miss out on dinners because you, you have know, to. You know the one common thread that I've found uh, in all these families, and that's kind of how I felt as well is that at some point they've put something on hold on their life or they've sacrificed something. I think my biggest stress other than being sad about losing my mom is that no one understands it, especially friends my age. And the other thing is that there's no support for these kids at all. You know, the Alzheimer's Society or different organizations have support groups, but there's no such thing as a support group for someone under 30. My vision of my life was not how it's turned out. Like, it, it just... Being a young caregiver is something I just never pictured.